So this is uh, part four and what we're going to do now, working from the squirrel, um, is identify the light areas on the squirrel and put a tone on everything that isn't light. So I've made my mix of burnt sienna slightly darker and I'm going to start at the tail end and the back of the tail is darker. We've got some sort of lines of dark tone coming into the tail and what we can do with them is just if we dab the brush out a little bit just refine those lines with a dabbed out brush that makes them slightly softer. Then we're going to come down and it goes darker into this section so we can actually take this tone here and as we come into this section the section at the back is slightly lighter now it's not as light as those really light areas so I'm going to cover most of it but I'm going to leave one or two little light bits and then this area the same coming round just one or two lines just keep my eye on this this has got to come through into this part of the body so I'm just going to go around this corner, keep my eye on that section. Again, one or two little light bits may be left in there. And then we can connect up and the, the line of dark comes across here, actually comes into the body a little way. And then it comes down over his back end. And I'm just connecting up again with that paint. So again, I'm in charge of a a line. Dab my brush off a little bit just to soften the edge of some of that and then the dark comes across here and it's like a little pocket of dark there. This edge will be softened so again keeping my eye on this edge. Keep this moving and I'm coming down and the front of the leg will be light though it may not end up as light as we're leaving it we're, we're just leaving ourselves with the option again dab the brush off and just run it where the two tones meet and that will give you a softer edge rather than a hard line and we're going to come down through here along his bottom Again, if we're getting an excess in the word dab on your tissue, remember, lift off and then into his feet and his toes are slightly lighter. So again, just dab off and lift a little. We can tweak that later down into his heel. And again, we just want this edge to be soft. So dab the brush on the tissue and you see that you can soften that leading edge. When we've done that bit, uh, we've got his front end, so again there's a light bit here. His shoulder is slightly light, so we're filling there. Got to work fairly wet and fairly quickly here. Front to back end of his hands are dark, bottom edge of his arm is dark. And that joins up with that. That bit's a light area. And again, just join up. Soften the front edges of all these with a dabbed off brush. If you've gone over the edge, which I have just uh, squeezed the brush out and that will allow you to neaten up that edge. And again, dabbed off brush allows you to soften some of this. I think this bit's going to come up a little bit further. Comes up into the ear here and then across to the near the eye and then we've got a little bit comes through here and it comes round that eye area so it's a little bit of light left there and the front of the face is light and the nose is light so again just being neat I'm working with a size 6 brown brush. Front of his nose is dark. 
and block. Dab off the brush and you can go back and just take that, see if it will soften, if it's still damped it like that. It gives you a soft edge, soft edge. A little bit on the ear, a little bit on the brow, a little bit on the nose. And that's your next bit. And that just creates the light areas. So we established a pale tone and this tone now identifies where those light areas are. This will be allowed to dry and then we will darken further. <laughs> 